Do these auctions look suspicious to you? Hundreds of items from one player, priced at just one copper. Don't waste your time or gold falling victim to this trap. Hey there, thanks for watching. I'm Daintree Rogue, bringing you gaming hints, tips, and hacks fresh from the jungle. Today, we take a quick look at a major pitfall of the classic auction house and how to avoid clicking through hundreds of overpriced auctions, or for some of us, just avoid being ripped off at all. You've probably seen them, especially on enchanting mats. Weird auctions with a super low bid price of like one copper, but with a buyout price that's way high. Did you know that most of the time, these buyout prices are up to five times higher than what that item is currently selling for on the AH? I know, I know. For some of you, the auction house can be a bit tedious, and it's certainly not the most interesting of subjects. But this fix will get you in and out of the AH faster when you do need it. Even if you do know about these auctions, it is still annoying as to click through all the pages to finally get to something that is reasonably priced. Likewise, when you're looking to sell something, I bet I'm not the only one who's put up auctions that are, let's say, priced to sell only to find out that my buyout prices were still more expensive than most of the other auctions because I was comparing it to one of those inflated auctions. So how are you meant to know what something should cost, especially if you don't live in org or IF? We looked at some of the most populated servers and this one copper bid high buyout scheme shows up all over. Reddit and the forums are filled with people complaining about it. So what exactly is the problem? It's actually two things. The first and most crucial the auction house sorts by bid price. So let's say you put up one illusion dust for a thousand gold buyout. If you put a bid price of one copper, it will appear first in the auction list, not last as you might expect. And secondly, you can cancel low bid auctions without consequence, even ones where someone has already made a bid. And guess what? It will only cost you your deposit and the auction house cut of the current bid price. So for items like enchanting mats that can't be vended, the AH deposit is zero, and the AH cut of 5% on a one copper bid is also zero. So if you ever see a page or more of these one copper items, you're probably seeing a tactic that uses the default sorting of the AH to bury the true price and trick you into overpaying. Any auctions that do get bid on at the one copper price just get cancelled at no cost to them, so there's just no winning. Do you have an auction goblin on your server? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stick around for a simple solution. Alright, enough crying. The solution to all of this is easy. Get yourself an auction house add-on. If you don't use the AH much, you might not love this answer, but it really will save you some pain when you do have to use it. We are using Auctioneer here, but it doesn't really matter. Most of the AH add-ons provide a new tab that automatically sorts auctions by the buyout price, and not the bid price. In Auctioneer, on the Appraiser tab, you can search for items and have the entire list sorted by whatever you want. And this really is everything on the Auction House. The best part? All those nasty one copper bids with expensive buyouts will be way down the bottom, where they belong. Doesn't that look better? This sorting solves the low bid, high buy trap, but there are heaps more benefits of using an add-on. Auctioneer, for example, adds colour coding to the default Auction House tab, so you can get a rough idea of whether something is a bargain or not, based on the buyout price. Another benefit is that you can see stacks of items at the price per unit. I have a background in stats, but when I'm gaming I have no patience for figuring out what 5 gold 94 divided by 17 is. So even if you don't use the AH much, or you don't care for add-ons, an AH add-on can be a big quality of life upgrade. So trust us when we say that auction house add-ons aren't just for people who like to auction lots of things. As Raz Loris points out, you pretty much need one not to get tricked. And that's how you don't feed the auction goblin. If you'd like more videos on the auction house, let us know in the comments. And for more of our hints, tips and hacks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Daintree Rogue, Gone Rogue. See you next week.